think of this. The longer a boy is in scouting, the more he gets out of it. The question is, how do we make sure he stays? I don't know of any other place you can get what you get in Boy Scouting. When you go back to the aims of the program, the citizenship, fitness, and character building, all of those incorporated, I don't know what any other program that has all three of those. I think uh, the world would be a nicer place if we had more, more boys that would go through the scouting program, uh, advance as far as they could, and then get out into the world, go to college, and then start out in the world. Uh, they'd have a different perspective on life and be, and be operating from a, uh, a set of principles that really set them straight for what they need to do in their life. Cub Scouting just begins what Boy Scouting will more fully develop. You don't complete the job of developing character, citizenship, and fitness in a 10 or 11 year old boy. It takes him a little more of maturity and we start that process in blue and gold, but we complete that job when we get a boy in khaki. Boy Scouting builds upon Cub Scouting, but make no mistake, it's a lot different. And I remember when I brought my boys to their first Boy Scout outing, and they all got out of the cars and were walking over to um, just look at the boys. The Boy Scouts were already there and making breakfast, and we were bringing, they had spent the night, and we were just coming in. And all of us moms and dads were unloading their gear out of the trunks, and the Scoutmaster walked over and said, boys, this is the last time your mothers will unload your stuff out of the car. And I just thought, this is cool, I like this Boy Scout thing. My observation is you need to encourage those boys to be as self-sufficient as possible. To me, that's the whole aim of Boy Scouting. We're going to, to turn these young boys into self-sufficient men. Turning boys into self-sufficient young men is what Boy Scouting is all about. So what are some of the challenges in moving boys from Weebelows to scouting? Let's listen to a few scout volunteers. We're losing far too many boys at the bridge between Weeblos and scouting. The payoff, the fun, is all in scouting. One thing you want to make sure of is you don't lose boys and let them slip through the cracks. The Weeblos to Scout transition is the process of moving Cub Scouts to Boy Scouts. Its success rests in the hands of scout leaders who can help make the move an easy one. And it all starts with communication. The most important thing for the transition from Cub Scouting to Boy Scouting is contact between the pack and the troop. It's helpful to have a person in charge to facilitate that, but it's probably more important that you have boys, Boy Scouts, in contact with the boys in Cub Scouting. Our school does not have a troop, but there's three or four troops in the immediate area, and that's why I encourage my boys, check them all out. Find which troop you feel the most comfortable in, because all troops have their own personality. They, they really do. A successful Weebelows to Scout transition is the result of good communications among the PAC, troop, unit commissioner, and the Weebelows to Scout transition chairperson. Let's listen to a few examples of how the leadership of the Cub Pack assists in the transition. The Weeblow Den leader is the primary person responsible for writing down where the Weeblow Scout is as in, from a standpoint of tracking their activities. We really encourage our Weeblos uh, leaders to keep the boys uh, interested. I mean, you'll lose your boys if they get bored, obviously. Uh, boys uh, need constant stimulation. They really do. If a dude don't have a good relationship with the troop, the Weeblos will feel lost and they won't want to go to the troop. If you have a den chief who's willing to come from the troop or den chiefs who are willing to come from the troop and work with the boys, help out with learning how to tie knots, help out with the activity badges so that they can complete the Weebo requirements in the arrow of light, then you have a work worker relationship that is worth a ton of gold. Maintaining records, keeping boys interested, and communicating is how Cub Packs help the transition. So what do troops do to improve the transition? In the entire Weeblow Scout transition plan, there's really no leader more key that can do more good than the den chief. Because I've been through it. I've been to Weeblos. I've been there. I know how hard it's been. And I stay in contact with them. I, I'm, in their, I'm just about in that same age group, just a little bit older. And that, old, that den chief comes into the Weeblos meeting, and he's wearing a new patch. 
Oh, where'd you get that patch? Oh, we, we went on the ropes course last weekend, and oh, what's the ropes course? And he starts telling about that, and these kids' eyes are getting big, and they're getting excited about joining the scout troop. Building relationships with Cub Masters and Weebelow's Den leaders, as well as having a strong Den chief, is how troops can help the transition. Now, let's take a look at the role that the unit commissioner plays. The job of the unit commissioner is to make sure we complete this marriage between a Weeblos Den and a scout troop early in the fall of second year Weeblos. Sometimes that's very easy where we have a cub pack and scout troop together at a chartered partner. Other times it's a little more difficult where one's at a church and one's at a school and things of that sort. And that's where the unit commissioner can really do a great job for us. Well, my goal is to get as many Weeblo Scouts in the Boy Scouts as we possibly can to avoid the drop-off in that transition. The, w the way I do that is to talk to Weeblo's leaders, talk to troop leaders, and to track myself uh, through my discussions, the boys and Weeblo's that actually get into Scout units and make sure that the district and the council are aware that they've, they are now in Boy Scout units. What role does the Weebelows to Scout Transition Chairperson play? As a uh, Weeble to Scout Transition Chair, uh, it really does have a, a couple key components and key roles and responsibilities. Uh, number one is, is having direct relationship with the uh, unit leaders at both the Cub Scout level and Boy Scout level in our troops. The other responsibility you have is educating our parents either sending out communication, either by email or by flyer, letting them know what Boy Scouts is all about. And then for, for us, we really find the biggest role is just, I'll say, data gathering and keeping track of the facts. And we go all the way down to the boy level. You know, in, in our district, we uh, maintain a uh, list that we initiate every year at ReCharter, so we know who our Weeblo 1s and Weeblo 2s are. We keep track of every single boy and find out are they moving over from, uh, from Cub Scouting into Boy Scouting? And uh, if not, why not? We really find uh, great consistency and, and better retention if an entire den can shift together. It helps keep that personality together. Uh, it keeps the boys with their friends so that they're, they're not out there on their own, if you will. Bottom line, what we really want to make sure our Weeblo Den leaders understand is their main role as a Weeblo Den leader is to get their Weeblos into Boy Scouts. The Cub Pack, Scout Troop, Unit Commissioner, and Weeblos to Scout Chairperson are all important parts of the Weeblos to Scout transition, a process that culminates in an exciting crossover ceremony. It also makes a big deal of moving from Cub Scouting to Boy Scouting for the actual kids that are crossing over. It's the culmination of the boys' final Cub Scouting events, that he's moving on to the Boy Scouting. It's a, a finishing and a start. This bridge is symbolic of leaving childhood and moving on to manhood. And they're actually crossing over into something bigger. You know, that, that's when it really absorbs in. They really start understanding that there's something serious going on because it's so visual and, it, and uh, the whole pack is there and the troop is there. When I crossed over, when I bridged, I was very excited and kind of sad because I was leaving the pack and going to the troop. But I was excited because I get to do new things and I was becoming a big boy, a young man. Now I have the um, experience to share with all the pack and the Weeblos about my experience of crossing over. And my whole goal is to get as many kids as possible to stay in scouting. 100% of my Weeblos bridge over to Boy Scouts. There's no exceptions. So remember this. The longer a boy stays in scouting, the more he gets out of it. That's why the Weebelows to Scout transition is so important. Now, let's go make it happen.